Hi guys, <clears throat> sorry, I am a little bit late. I have been busy trying to get everything pulled together for today's Facebook Live and had a couple of meetings and so we're running a little bit behind, but I will give <clears throat> a few people, I'll give you some time to pop on. <clears throat> Excuse me, need my water. Um, I'll give everybody a few minutes to jump on or a few seconds to jump on, but today we're gonna be talking about supplements and what supplements are important for you to put your pet on from the get-go. And um, so a lot of us think of supplements to be used uh, later in life for things like senior pets or pets that may show a deficiency later in life and we think to supplement them at that point in time. Supplements really should be added from puppyhood. And the supplements that I'm gonna show you today that really should be added from, from puppyhood, you really might be shocked and surprised to find out that puppies would benefit and need some of these supplements because not all of them are thought of as puppy supplements. So I often get asked about adding a multivitamin or something um, just as a daily vitamin to a pet's diet. I would say that is not necessarily needed. There are some dogs that do need vitamins for one reason or another, but I do not recommend just giving vitamins as a whole for no particular reason. The, what I'm gonna tell you today are supplements that need to be added, and there's a reason for each supplement. The first ones we're gonna talk about are omegas, so they're kind of far over here, my omega supplements. But there's ultra oil, we have Nature's Logic, um, sardine oil, grizzly pollock oil, which uh, has wild Alaskan pollock, they also have a salmon oil, and um, then they have a krill oil as well. And these all have different omegas in them um, and uh, are nice omega supplements. So you might ask, why does my pet need omegas and especially my puppy? So if you are feeding your pet a kibble diet, omega-3s are very <clears throat> instable and so they often get destroyed in the cooking process and most kibbles do not have omega-3s. They are fairly rich in omega-6 fatty acids. So omega-3s come from things like flaxseed, fish, hemp, coconut oil. Omega-6 comes from corn, safflower, safflower, sunflower, olive, canola oil. Those kind of oils contain omega-6s. Omega-6s are good for things like chronic illnesses, and omega-3s are good for things like acute things, allergies, arthritis, inflammation, more acute issues is what you would use omega-3s for. But if you have a good balance of omega-3s and 6 in your pet's diet, then it's going to keep them healthier overall for longer term. So one of the really cool things in getting ready for this today, I was researching about different fish oils. And not all fish oils are the same. And um, the omegas in fish are stored mostly in the meat. Um, in cod, though, it is stored in their liver. And so if you see cod liver oil, that is often rich in vitamins A and D, which can be a really good thing. But A and D, vitamins A and D, you can give too much and because they are fat soluble and you do not want to OD your pet on vitamins A and D. So you do want to avoid cod liver oil for your pet unless there's a particular reason that maybe your pet is deficient in those vitamins. But I would be very careful and do that under the guidance of a vet or holistic vet who is directing you. Otherwise I would stick to fish oils or hemp oils or coconut oil and I would rotate the kind of oil that you're giving because each oil is gonna have a different property and just like I recommend rotating proteins, I think it's important to rotate where you're getting your omegas from as well for your pet. Hi, Christine, welcome, glad you're here. Um, so these are your omega supplements and all of those different oils. We also have this primal omega muscle edible elixir and this is a mix of different uh, muscles and it's good for joint health, but the other lovely thing is it's very rich in omega. So you're gonna kill two birds with one stone. So moving along to talk about joint health and um, keeping your pet healthy with their joints. So again, we really recommend these from puppyhood, 
And when I first started learning about all of this a couple of years ago, I would never have recommended to a client that came into our store to put their puppy on a joint supplement. Uh, but the more research I did and the more learning I did, the more I recognized that joint supplements from the beginning help keep you from experiencing more acute problems later in life and keep the joints much healthier longer. So like we talked about this primal being omega, it also is joint health because it contains green lip muscles, which is a very rich source of glucosamine. These products have glucosamine in them. You have Grizzly Joint Aid, which is a hip and joint support. It comes in pellets. It also comes in an oil. And this is really good because it contains glucosamine, conjointin, MSM, uh, hydrolonic acid, turmeric, and krill oil. So it has a lot of different things in there. It also has your omegas because you have your krill oil in there. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory but also really good for dogs that might be struggling with cancer. I was just talking with a customer the other day about turmeric paste and how important that is for cancer patients. Um, glucosamine is derived from cartilage of animals, so chicken cartilage you'll frequently see used as a source of glucosamine, but also the green lip muscles. So glucosamine, conjoint, and MSM, those are all things that you want to look for as a joint support. And this pellet is really, really good. Feeds really nicely for dogs. This is another one uh, that has we've sold for a very long time, Liquid Health. Uh, they have several different varieties, but it's just a liquid that you put over your pet's food. And it has glucosamine, conjoint, and MSM in it as well, and um, is derived from, uh, from green, lip, green lip muscles, but also has chicken cartilage in it as well. So really, really good source of glucosamine. And uh, then this one is by True Hemp. It's hemp and joint. It's also an oil, but also has hemp oil in it. So again, hitting upon the omegas and the joint health, which is really nice. So running into our uh, probiotics and prebiotics, you may have heard these talked about Oftentimes, you can find these in yogurt, which is what makes yogurt so healthy for us. And we have a yogurt here for pets. I'm sorry it's gotten a little frosty, but this is by Steve's Real Food, and it's called Chia Freeze. And it is coconut milk, or uh, it's got coconut flour in it. It's goat milk yogurt and has tons of probiotics in it. So if you're looking for uh, a very raw form of probiotics and prebiotics, you have Answers Goat Milk. We also have Primal Goat Milk, Boss Dog Goat Milk, and we have the uh, Steve's Real Food Goat Yogurt. Those are all great sources of probiotics and prebiotics. So you may wonder what probiotics do, and they aid in digestion by regulating the good bacteria in the intestines, which increases the nutritional uptake from the food that you're feeding your pet and they balance the good bacteria. So you don't want the bad bacteria, things like E. coli and salmonella, bad bacteria to overrule the good bacteria because that makes the pet sick, but then it also lessens the nutrition they're able to uptake from their digestive tract. So probiotics are awesome to add to your pet's food from the time they are a puppy. The other thing that you wanna make sure they contain is prebiotics. Prebiotics feed probiotics. And by giving your probiotics food to eat, you make them happy. You know, it's kind of like my teenager at home. By giving him food to eat, I make him very happy. And it's the same way with prebiotics. And prebiotics are things generally filled with a lot of fiber that are not easily digested by the body and sit in the intestines and feed the probiotics. And so you want to think, and they usually come from fruits and vegetables and whole grains that are very high in fiber. They also, prebiotics also help with calcium uptake to the body and they help ferment the food faster in the digestive tract so it's easier for the, the body to digest. So some other good powdered probiotics, if you don't want to do the the ones in our um, freezer section. We also have some really good digestive enzymes by NatureVet, which have pre and probiotics included. 
This is another wonderful one by Super Snouts that you'll notice has pumpkin in it and a prebiotic and probiotics, really good to help support the GI tract. And then Herbsmith Microflora Plus. This is a very popular probiotic for us. We sell a lot of this and it's really good digestive support for your pet. So those are the three supplements you wanna give your pet even from the very beginning. Don't wait until you have a problem, give them before to prevent a problem. The one last thing I'll say is we have one product in the store that is all three things. Answers fermented fish stock. And I know that sounds gross. Um, it's not, it doesn't smell particularly lovely, but dogs do love it and it is great for them. So this is fish stock and then Answers does their fermentation on it, just like they do on all of their products. And so the fermentation adds the probiotics. You have, uh, it is very rich in glucosamine and chondroitin and a great joint support. And then it has the omegas from the fish oil. So this has all three of those supplements in it. And you can put this over your pet's kibble, add it to their raw diet, but this will kill all three birds with one stone. And it comes in this size and one size larger. You simply defrost, defrost it on your counter at room temperature. I recommend putting a container under it just in case it should leak. Keep it in your refrigerator in a glass container and pour it out over their kibble for each meal. And um, directions are on this side for serving size. This is also a wonderful product for dogs that may have thyroid issues. Um, it has lots of different purposes, but the wonderful thing is that it incorporates all three of these segments and gives you one supplement so you don't have to buy three different things, which is a really cool thing. If you guys have any questions, you know we're always here and happy to answer any of your questions. Next time you're in, be sure to take a look around our supplement section and see if there's anything you might need for your pet or any way that we can help you with any kind of acute issues that you're having. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the turmeric, I was talking with a customer the other day, found out that her pet has had cancer for several months and was telling her about a recipe I have read for turmeric paste, sent her the recipe so that she can make some at home. So we have all kinds of remedies, even if it's not something that we sell, we'll be happy to help you out uh, because your pet's health and happiness makes us happy. That's what we're here for. And even if it's not a product I have on my shelf, I'm happy to help you find what you need for your pet. We hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy the beautiful weather. And we'll definitely see you back here next week. Not sure what we're going to cover next week. So if you have some ideas or things you want me to cover, always feel free to send me suggestions. We're happy to do the research if we don't know the answer, but we would love to present the questions that you have. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great weekend.